It says I'm live. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. That's like a Kenny's bell today. It's like, we'll see how many I get today goofing off. It is April 1st. I am taking Kathy's place for a few days. That way you guys have somebody to come so with or listen to. I got to find myself over on YouTube land so I can see the chat. It's like I'm a little early, but I'm sitting here. And I just... Can't sit here no more. How about that? For my live, it should be on. My live, it oh. should be on. Turn off my volume. Hi, Joyce. And how's Joyce this morning? Hi, Nancy. It's got to, got to get me all set up on my little thing so I can see the chat better. I do Hansen. Oh, she's the wrench that's here today. But yeah, I'm just working on. I have five of these blocks to go for the Swoon 16 Thimble Blossom. I guess is her, her group that she calls it by Camille Roskelly. I have five blocks to go, so that's what I'm working on this week. Plus. I am also working on, I just put the borders on Nora's quilt. So it can go on the long arm maybe tonight when I'm done here or tomorrow. But it's closer. That's the quilt that has to be done and finalized by the end of, by, let's see, what did I set myself? April 15th. But see, I have all my blocks stacked in groups. This is a whole block. So that's where now I get to start the marking and stuff like that. Put this back over here. I got to put it as far away from me as I can in order to bring the screen down a little bit. And the other thing I have to do is lower my seat. I always forget. There. That way I can ha be still in the screen and you can still see somewhat of what I'm doing. It's always the fun parts of putting blocks together. So to start my day. Everybody have a great weekend. It's like, I know I'll run out of bobbin thread. That's normal. It's like the cup, you can't see my whole name on there. Anybody working on a project? These go to this one. These ones here get sewed on. Um, with these and got to take four of these off the pile. Because nothing gets done to them. Uh, good morning, Kathy. Hi, Nina. I turned my head to count the blocks. Hi, Roadkill. One, two, three, four of these get nothing done, too. This one here gets nothing done, too. But these get put on this one. So I'll pin them together in these lines. But thanks, everybody that is watching. 
So these get lines done on them. These get lines done on them. Because I have to have something to follow. I'm not good sewing by my without the line. I can't guess that long. And I don't have a long enough bed to put that that tape out here wouldn't help me a whole lot. But I helped a gal with her first live by herself last night. She had a a giveaway for hitting 500 subscribers. I'm long from there. I have 285. And I won her giveaway. And there is a list of stuff I won. I won a half jelly roll of somebody's. I for, forgot to write it down. A half roll and remnants of another jelly roll by Quilted Grace. And the pattern that came with it. Half a panel set from the Quilted Cow. A bunny project. It's a 12 and a half by 13 and a half wall hanging. From, uh, I think it's Cotton Cuts. 28 by 27 complete wall project. Two and a half by eight and a half Riley Blake ruler. Laundry basket daisy needle toppers to hold your threads. Black cat pins. The, star, the puzzle from Missouri Star. A layer cake Lockwood Manor. A color wheel. A quilt book called Rose and Bloom. She had a count of cross stitch calendar that from last year that has all sorts of projects. Annie's Christmas pattern book, All Crafts. A quilting magazine. She ended up with two of them, so she gifted one. Hiroshima, those Hiroshima hand quilting needles. A pack of those. Another Open Gates project. And pattern, two pattern holders, thread wax, and a little gift pocket. But that was her giveaway. Nina's working on the stars and ladders. Okay, that's my three yard quilt I did. Wow. Uh, Lily Pop Love was the channel that put this out. And hello, Denise. It's like, it's quite a passel. <laughs> it, but there was a, you had to, her instructions, but you had to say happy St. Patty's Day. Well, the first two did not do that. And they wasn't subscribed to her. They only dropped in and put her their names in, was one of them. And one did not say Patty's Day. Because that was one of the main clues. Well, I put them both. And I was there during her draw, helping her. Because she didn't know if she was seen right or... Because the chat doesn't come up on... Wasn't coming up on her YouTube... And so, because she did Zoom and YouTube, which she didn't need to do the Zoom, but she was already started. So she had to just keep it there. And it's, so we made it through the whole thing. And she started sewing a little. But I was, I was there to find my wind, my wind. She says, well. I don't have to check to see if she's subscribed to me because I know Miss Sandra Kay is subscribed. She helps me a lot. See, I, my the thing when I was born, there was a little thing in my baby book, which my baby book come up missing after my mother passed away. But the baby book used to say that I was born as a helper. I don't know if it's from my name or from the day of the week I was born. And it just proves 
I am a helper. Hi, hi, Maritza. Hola. It's like, what's new? I won a big prize off of a uh, lily pop love. I mowed part of my yard yesterday. Didn't all need mowed. And then, of course, you have the nice dog detail. I didn't have a pickup, so I couldn't go goof off anywhere. Because my pickup was with Melinda in Spokane. My grandson's up there. They're getting a new wooden fence. Their dog keep going over the one fence and then out and the neighbors running. Joyce says, my sister's name is Sandra Kay. That is my first and middle. Yes. So it works out saying Sandra Kay. It works out just fine, huh? Every once in a while, Zoom will goof up and take and put my full name on there. But that's from, I think, when I had to join Zoom meetings when I was working. We had Zoom Zoom classes. I, but hello, Gladys. I missed you in there somewhere. But it was, you know, that's about the only thing I did really exciting yesterday was watch that and watch me win. It's like, it's always fun to watch yourself win something, right? I have a, Terry's lunchtime. You gonna go get some foodies? I was gonna eat some breakfast before, but I go, I'm not gonna be on here for the Eight, eight hours, so I don't need to worry about it yet. Oh, I forgot to turn the star off, didn't, or the heart off. I knew there was something I was missing. Oops. They say you can do it while you're on live, but I don't want to struggle with it today. So, excuse the heart. And Mary's here too. Hello, Mary. Did Sebastian? I won off of Lily Pop Love. There's half jelly rolls, there's quilt projects, there's another ruler, there's hand needles. There's the wax to go with the hand needles. There's some daisies that you put in the top of your spool that holds your needle. I don't know if they're magnetized or what. I've never even looked them up. And Terry did. So, so did Sebastian. Okay. I would check every now and then to see if anybody was coming on. I did see that Teresa Louise says, I will be back. That's all that was said. Didn't say when. I did see that notification out on Facebook. It's always glad to, when someone gets a hold of you finally. And I, Lily Pop Love. Lily's one dog. And I think she has, and that dog, she said something about their pork chops because she's waiting for her husband to cook their dinner. She's out of Mississippi. And as soon as that dog started smelling those pork chops, he was in begging Mama for food. And it was so funny. She didn't even have the food. Uh, 
and and then she said what well, told them you got to go talk to daddy about that so he took off for a little bit and then came back cuz daddy didn't give him no pork chop yes denise at lily pop love but oh I got eight more squares to draw lines on, and then I'm going to pin them right back on that piece. Minutes and minutes of just drawing lines. And Laura went home. She went to work for a while and went home sick again. So I don't know if she'll be on or not today. She spent the whole weekend sick. It's like, it's terrible when someone gets down for that long. I told her to stay in a glass bubble. She has to be well in 20, what is it, 29 days now. Yep. She was heading home when I last talked to her. That might, there might be a message from her. That might have been the last beep here. She just asked me what time I was going live. Because I told her I was pretending I'm Kathy this week. Except for not. No, eight hours. It'd be different if there was a Zoom. Because that gives you other people to talk to. Hi, Linda Denton. Evidently, Linda Denton's here. Yep. Sorry I missed it. It goes by too fast. Or I'm... Trying to get all these lines drawn. I could, Kathy, but it's like... Uh, eight hours, I still wouldn't probably get all these blocks done. I was trying to time yesterday. Uh, how long it took to, a block, but you get interruptions and then you forget to look back at the clock. Because here it's how many minutes just to draw the lines on. Because I know I started early. 17 minutes, Denise. Maybe it's time. And Laura's been to a doctor. It's like, believe me, she goes to them. But it doesn't help. She works in that medical facility where she is. Around germs. Hello, Donna Armstrong. Okay. Set this aside. Put the cap back on here. Move my rotary cutter. Because that's what I'll need next. And it. The pattern itself says to sew these groups together first. My bobbin thread is getting there, but it's not close enough. So I have to sew on each side the line of these four units. I'll go quietly, slowly, so it's quieter. And I need to put this chat out here rather than putting my neck out all the time. Hi, Darlene. And how are you today? Kathy working on hexes.
But yes, thank you, Lisa, for putting all that those links out there. I cleaned some of my garage yesterday. It means my pickup's not sitting in my garage. Because uh, it has my grandson's backyard fence and stuff all in the back of my, on my trailer. And instead of me fighting to hook the trailer back up, they're watching Matlock. What time's your game start today, Kathy? So, I just have to find a guy Wednesday. See, I get to go man hunting if Austin isn't able to. Because I cannot back up a trailer. I need more practice. That's for sure. I definitely need more practice. So, I will chain piece a whole group of this stuff. Oh, because of the, the pattern, they didn't give us a full fat quarter. Oh, it's four, four o'clock today? Okay. Good morning, Della. I had to go up into the salvage edge. So, I have to put two... Snowball corners, so I put it up there to where I only have to use that little tiny bit of that salvage edge. In other words, I would have not had enough to do the whole quilt, the block. Because somebody cuts them. But it's only on two pieces. You got physical therapy today, June? I only plan on a couple hours. I'm trying to see how long it actually takes me to make this block. And that's what I'll do tomorrow, if not. Because I can't do the long arm and talk to you guys at the same time. Oh, your sister does? Okay. You just have to go sit through her 45 minutes and wait, right? But I'm glad everybody's showing up. Oh, I guess I better put my own thumb up on my own site. What am I supposed... Oh, it's reminding me I'm supposed to do a live. Better to Turn that time off. That's the third chime. It's trying to remind me every 10 minutes, I guess. I guess. Oh, that one. That must have been a five. Her husband went back to work full time last week. Oh, of course. So the duty gets put over to you. But my Easter dinner yesterday um, consisted of leftover stew and a drumstick ice cream. Went down to buy ice cream sandwiches, and they didn't have a single one in the store. They buy for all, I think they have four stores. So they buy in bulk for all four stores. And it's like, it's, so sometimes our restocking isn't. Oh, and the gender of the next great grandchild in September is a girl. 
They was excited. But it's like, we all went to the boy. They wanted a boy. And his dad, before he passed away, he found out that he was going to be a grandpa two weeks before he passed away. And his comment was, maybe they'll have a boy to carry on the family name. And no luck there, but there's always a second try. And Emily says, yeah, we'll probably have two girls. And it's like, and I know how much fun, she says, I know how much two sisters can be. <laughs> so that tells you a lot there. Because, you know, Melinda says, yeah, she knows what it was like having a sister. And Emily, you know, she has Alicia, sister. So she knows how much fun that, that can be. Cutting these. My chain was getting a little much. Pink rocks, yes. Well, Lisa, you, you, how much trouble is that grand dog going to get you in? I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of trouble. Oops, forgot to turn the iron back on. No, I was forgetting another step. I always forget steps somewhere. My sister and I, it's like, we, we always had, we was always in trouble. But I had Bailey and Gunner yesterday until Melinda and Dave got back. And then Gunner, or Gunner had to leave. And then Bailey just kind of mopes around then. So I was tossing the stuffy for her. But I was also working on the binding, or the borders for Nora's quilt. So I could get it on the quilt machine this week. I can show you guys just the progress. Okay, so this gets moved there. This uh, this goes with these four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I can't even count. Three on one pile does not say four. That's good that you guys had time together. It's like, where did I put my rulers? Right in front of me. You know, the first thing to go is the mind. You try to be so organized. And it doesn't work. I'm trimming off the snowball corner. I, I don't want a bunch of... What did we decide they was? One inches? One and a... One and a half inch is what you get from these. I do not want a bunch of one and a half inch half square triangles. So mine just went to the trash can. And hello, Katie. Hi, Valerie. Okay, you're doing spring cleaning. I was trying to get that yesterday and Saturday while I was babysitting Gunner and stuff. After the reveal, I had to take tables out for the reveal because they were supposed to be dropping them off on their way to work. Well, that that didn't happen until we was in the middle of the party. Here come the tables. In fact, I think we was eating the... 
hamburgers and hot dogs. But I took some stuff out there and got rid of it. It's like, no problem, Joyce. It's like, you take phone calls, you have to take phone calls. I just put, I told my family I was, if I don't answer, don't panic. I'm not on a live. I'm on a live. It's girl, Nancy. It's a little girl. And she says, Grandma, we got to go through the stuff I got already and see what else I need. Because I am more than happy. If she wants another quilt made, a custom one for some reason, I will do it. Because that's me. And good morning, Mary Webb. It's like, yeah, both both of the grandmas had on their grandma shirts. And it says, guess who's going to be a grandma, I think, on the one grandma. And the other one, we've been calling that one Peanut. So she actually had a t-shirt made that says Gr Grammy. And then it has a Lonnie, Allen, and Peanut. I guess I turned off my iron instead of turn. I turned it on and then I turned it off. That's good. So we have to just talk for a minute. Well, the quilt that Emily picked was the one I thought would be the last that she would pick. She actually picked the card trick. It was. Hi, Brenda Foley. It was all florals from a shop hop. And it was beautiful card trick with all these florals. And that's the one she loved. And I, I didn't care what, which one she took. The only thing I said they can't take right now is the, the B one. That's my memory quilt for a while. Melinda knows that that one, the sentiment behind that one, because she knew Vicki Lemire also. She'd be on the, I'd be on the phone with her when Melinda would come in and they would talk. But no, she took this quilt a couple years. Well, when Alani and... Coda, Coda was coming into the world. That's when she got picked her quilt. And I and then I made a pink one with deer skull and pink grasses and then put pink minky on the back. Because I thought maybe because of a girl in a house with a hunter that the can't, the hunting might be the way to go. She says, I might want that one too, Grandma. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, it's nice when they want something for a reason. Okay, this is the one that gets these back on it. Yes, Terry. It, uh, I told everybody that Teresa Louise did post. And then I also contacted Diane for any of the red, white, and bluers. She's working on it. She says, if you have to go ahead and put a, a different block in while she's getting hers done. But it's like, I don't know if she said she has 15 blocks done. And then, or... She, She's received only 15 blocks. So I asked her for the list of who she's received blocks from. Trying to keep track of if anybody got behind in those things. Yeah. But sometimes the... 
you know, like Laura's, she's been down for how many days? Hey, Susan Munger. Did she go on someone's channel last night? Uh, yeah, I inquired to her because I've been getting asked some ass and beans. I'm kind of the supervisor of the red, white, and blue. I have to follow up. I, I don't, it's like I get put in charge. I might be slow, but I knew she was. Was she on Tiffany's? <coughs> yeah, it's like it's the pattern from you, Susan. So. And then I got that new pattern book coming, Roses in Bloom. Maybe that'll take up part of this back quarter bundle also. Yes, Tiffany's. Okay. And Lisa's asking, Susan, did you receive my block? The second time around, right, Su Lisa? Oh, still not running out of thread. So now I have to do the other part of the snowball. I just finished the other side of the three inch. Okay, it is your second one. But I think, like I told Diane... I think I'm going to have six or so blocks on the back. I might have to make a couple more. So mine's going to be like a reversible. Because I'm using the panel on the front of the red, white, and blue. And then on the back, I'm thinking about putting on point six or so blocks. Or two clusters of four. In opposite corners, but on point. Just to take up the back of the quilt. Because it's like, I want to use them all. And if I have to make a couple more, I, I guess I can struggle and do that. I just, such a beginner quilter, I don't know what to do. June says that would be cool. Yeah. So, it's going to be reversible. Because right now I have five blocks to go to the back. And beans, I have so many different friendship block stars. I'm thinking about the friendship stars in one cluster. Or there'll be two points of the cluster. That line disappeared. Don't hold your stuff when it's heat. I had my hand sitting on this block. Took off part of my marking. Because I guess my body heat must be up enough. I know. Don't sit, mark things and sit them in this, leave them in this window here. Your stuff disappears too. Because enough heat comes through the window to fade them out. So now I'm just going to keep right on chain piecing to the next the square here. I have to put a two and a half on each corner. On two sides. And that'll be another part of the block. Because of that. Somebody didn't remove that heart. She's got to pick up her chat. And see the last word under there. 
I don't know who that was. Some forgetful person this morning. Just a little forgetful this morning. Just trying to get everything done. Bailey out. I know. It's like getting the kids ready. Make sure Bailey went out for at least an hour before she come back in. Because I'm not leaving the door open yet. This afternoon I'll leave the door open for her. But right now, I'm not. But as I'm trying to figure out a better position. So you guys don't have to see the side of me so much. It's always something you got to work with. There must be four pieces left. Grab up this, this mess. Connect the first four. One, two... One, two, three, four. Those have to have their snowball cut off. These ones here, I can flip them right back around. And so the other side, because it doesn't interfere. But how's Maritza doing? Trying to watch that thread come running out too. I don't like running out in the middle of a long project. I have three spools of thread, our bobbins redid, ready to go. But My gr Douglas had late. Hi, hi, Lori. Been lurking. Stomach is off, sleeping it away. Okay. I know my stomach's doing a few little flip flops because I didn't eat, but it should be fine. It can go without. I have my juice. But Douglas and them, they had late Easter dinner over with his other grandparents. With the other great grandparents. They don't come to their house. They make them bundle up all the kids and go to their house. I don't do that. It's easier for me to bundle one person than it is. Three little ones. So it's like when they was coming home, uh, Aspen fell asleep and it was after seven. So if she goes to sleep after seven, she's usually out for the night. But she woke up enough with all the j jiggling and whatnot to get them out of the car seats. So she, I, I tired. So I told Douglas while he was on the phone talking to me. It says, just go lay down with her. It's like, take K. And because they have no back fence. I said, but I said, lay down with her. And Marissa was taking uh, the dogs out one at a time on a leash because they have no fence to contain them right now. So he had Cade with him and Cade was wanting to make noise and Aspen was wanting to go back to sleep. But she did go back to sleep. It did work. 
but it's not working. The dogs are used to running and playing and potting whenever they want. They're not liking this. But the fence isn't going to be, be replaced until Saturday. So she's going to have a fun week with three kids and two dogs that don't want to go out and go potty. Because she has to keep them on a leash. So she's going to be not in a good mood on Saturday. <laughs> but once the once the guys get home, they can take them out. But until then, it's a long stretch. Three little kids and two dogs that have to be leashed. If it wasn't for buying an expense and a cable... I would say put a cable up from one tree to another and then hook their leashes, make make a run that way, a cable run for the week. But they'd have to go buy all the stuff to do that. But these two dogs are the farthest things from vicious. They had a report from one neighbor that tried biting them. It's like, just... But it was probably just wanting to play. But everybody, you know, they're always, first to always say, they was vicious dogs. I don't even think they're a year old yet. So, the reason for the new fence is the dogs. They was three blocks away. She had to bundle up all three kids, figure out, go down, and get two dogs. Good thing she has that. She has that wagon with the canopy. So, all three kids in that. But first, she had to get them up, dressed, and ready to go. Oops, I'm not done cutting. Yeah, my garbage is getting ready to go out too. Mine getting ready for that. And I put a couple things in it and says, do not take it back out of the garbage. It's old. You don't need it. It's some sort of a silk tape for sewing on a seam. I don't know where I got it. I have another spot that has stuff getting ready that can go out in the yard sale. Whenever I do that. And then last night, I remembered about 10 o'clock that I should have been uh, cleaning Ace's cage so it could go out in the gar garbage stuff. But I still have today. So, change Ace's newspapers. I ran out of Ace, the Sugar Gliders, Puff Treats. So when I went down to buy him new ones, they had sweet potato. Didn't know if he'd like them or not, but he loves them. We always went to the grandparents' house. And no one came to us. At one time, we had no car and we had to take the bus. Sometimes my wonderful dad would pick us up and drive us home. Yeah. It's like, I don't remember. My grandparents went to all our house all the time. But to get to the in-laws, we had to ride the bus. Uh, but it's like, I remember my grandparents always came to us. Always. And then it's like, my generation. It's like, we had to travel to... Our parents, not them. You know, vice versa. So, 
It's like we would have Christmas early at our house or Thanksgiving, whatever we, Christmas especially in their birthdays. We'd have them early. Those poor kids, if they knew what a calendar was, they would not have known what day it actually was. Because it seemed like it started like December 17th and then December 24th and December 25th. Christmas was like a week-long celebration for them. But we had them open early at our house so they could enjoy what they got. They got usually one toy as a gift. And then still to this day... Remember the little Fisher Price radios and the farmer says and that? Why we got them noisemakers was beyond why. Because it was like I was constantly having to wind the radio and they would walk around listening to it and pressing the arms of the, the CNCs. I was going, why was I so stupid? <laughs> and then they come out with those TVs that you could wind and the screen would go by. They couldn't break them. I wish I would have kept them instead of yard sailing them. Because it's one of those things I didn't think. Didn't think get to the future. I guess I didn't think my kids would have kids. Because my mom told me not to have any kids. I never did tell my kids that. But it's like. Those was the noisemakers. Do I buy my grandkids and great grandkids noisemakers? No. I always remembered why when I had the memories come back. Just like when people have a birthday in their, you know, they're in their 50s. I, I remember back to those days. Going this, 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 and this. No regrets on having the family. Just rem go, just everybody's birthdays. It's younger than I am. Then when people have one that's older, I just wonder if I'm going to be doing. Am I going to be able to sew? Am I going to be able to be living on my own? Still. Her, her son loved all the noisy toys. And believe me, Fisher Price knew some noisy toys. Now the noisy toys, they don't wind. You have to have batteries. I'm just finger pressing these ones. Because I'm just going to put them right back up. Sometimes I finger press, sometimes I don't. But I thought I'd better say why I'm finger pressing it. Because I can. And my finger press looks lays down pretty good. Let's see if my bobbin thread holds out. Remember the vac... Oh, I still have the... <laughs> yeah. I have the pop-a-lot... I still have that. That's in my front room sitting right there now. Alani takes it out. She mows the lawn with it. The noise toys are the ones that are supposed to take home. Yeah. I just liked them myself, I think is why I bought them for them. I remember that one, says Mary. The only thing with it being so old... The clear cover of the, the bubble, it, it is yellowed. Do you remember the toy you pushed around that had the balls and popped? I could go get it. 
And believe it or not, McDonald's used to have what they called toddler toys. Toys for under three. And Fisher Price got with McDonald's and they made a little miniature one of that. And all sorts of them. The, the phone that you pull that the eyes wiggled. They had a miniature of that. They had the slinky dog. It's like, I have all those McDonald Fisher Price toys. I have them out in the garage, and I'm trying to get all the big ones to go with them. It was just a fascination I had. I'm a kid at heart. You have the Fisher. I want that Fisher Price phone. I only have the little. Yes. My aunt made something similar to that Fisher Price popper, but she made them out of oak. And I I should have bought one from her. It still made the same ridiculous noise, but I should have bought one from her. But someday my kids are going to go through all this stuff and go, my mom was a kid. And it's like, they should know that by now. My mom was a kid. I had a little rough edge there. When I ran it twice, I shredded it instead. Just like all these Pez dispensers. And then they got me Mr. Peeps in the corner here. They seen this Peeps and stuffed Peeps. And, oh, that's what I was going to do yesterday. Take down the Easter decorations. I guess I left them up for an extra day. Forgot. Or I got distracted. Went out, tried finding that high chair tray again. My garage, big garage, is such a disarray. With all of Austin's stuff, Alicia's stuff, everybody's stuff out there. Uh, let's see. You can do that tonight. Okay. Sandra, let your kids know that some of that may have value. Yes, they do. They should check out the internet before they toss. Well, my son said he wasn't tossing anything. He was going to, because the house is paid for, he was going to turn my house into a, a museum and a small entry fee and make a, a Pez room and a Cabbage Patch rooms and quilts, quilts in every room. He said he was going to start charging a fee. If this guy can take. And then, you know, set it, set each room up accordingly. I says, well, you need to get the Pez shelves figured out. So I can put the Pez dispensers on that because I only have. I think 700 Pez dispensers. Oh, it's like, where, where's that alarm at? And, you know, life goes on. But they help find those Pez dispensers. But they was trying to find, they was told that that Peeps came in solid purple. Well, 
Casey and Jamie, when they was in Tennessee, they found it in solid purple. But Melinda and Dave, they could only find the striped one. But Casey would not bring back the giant peep on the plane. He didn't want to use it as a carry carry on. It's like he's embarrassed, I guess. So Alani, I we got pictures of Alani with the peep in her Jeep. And we got a picture of Alan peeking through the ears. We made it look like he was holding it. He's about to fall asleep and I think his mama's arms. But they do make great pictures like next year. We can do Easter pictures with the kids with him or her, whatever it is. I don't name them. And then I have all the Cabbage Patch dolls. But just the quilt collection would be quite a setup, too. Now that I have all the, the flying geese are made, the snowballed, there's four snowballed blocks like this made. I'm pressing them open. I think I have all the pieces sewed now comes the fun part squaring up i have eight ascar triangles to square up these all all these blocks have to measure four and a half these are two and a half by four and a half these are four and a half. And then the little half square triangles are two, two and a half. But as I will get it done. I said one block today, one block tomorrow. But I will come on live just because I can. It's too cold to do anything. Hi, Patty G. What are you doing? Are you done? How long are you going to be live? Are you having fun? Yes, I'm having fun because I'm getting another UFO done. I'm doing the Swoon 16 pattern, 16 fat quarters, 16, 16 inch blocks, one sweet quilt. And as I said all the time over on Kathy's, buy one sweet quilter. And that's about time Kathy would choke. But this, then I was telling them about the, the newest great-grandchild is going to be a girl. And I won a prize, a big prize over it. A lot of, a lot more UFOs. Hi, Courtney. Yeah, she's been going Mama Sandra on every time she sees me. She's my late life daughter. <laughs> yeah, Kathy's laughing. Do you still have the horse that you have a short video on? Uh, yes, those two horses are still out at Casey's. She said yesterday she needs to start riding them, riding them again. That that the the whiter of the two is stormy, and the other one's red. We don't know how much longer Red will be around. He's the oldest one. Because it's like, you just never know. You don't. You just never know the life of a horse. And thank you, Lisa, for putting Courtney's up. And to have people come up on chats, it's like, Rita offered... To open one up and then leave stream labs up where you guys could join. It's like it wasn't that sweet, Arita. She says, I can start it. 
and then you can just host it. <laughs> it's like, that would have been, come on over to Rita's Roost to watch me sew a block. Uh, Stormy, I think, is five years old, but Red is, oh... 18, 19, up in there, I think. It's like, I'm trying to remember how old my grandkids are, how long they've had him. Oh, he he's probably older than that, or she, whatever it is. It's a horse. Uh, her other, uh, Maggie, she got arthritis really bad. And she had to be put down. That was Emily's horse. But Emily's still afraid of Stormy. Stormy normally goes in a... They have a... Emily lives right next door to her dad. The, the person that Casey bought his house from. They had sold five acres. Or almost five acres. And it's like... That's they had a, a fence there, and that's where Stormy was. Well, they have gates on both sides of that thing, so Emily and them could pass through to come over to mom and dad's house. Well, Emily was just afraid of Stormy. I don't know why she and she's a, a, a sweet horse. Yes, they can live up to 30. Long as we've had any. Oh, there's seven or eight goose nests up in the eagle's nest. Oh, wow. I I guess I've been not getting my notifications. I guess. I guess I might have to go check why I'm not getting my notifications. Normally, I always get notifications on those eagle cams. Those eagle cams are fun to watch. But it's like, the oldest we've had is 27. And she, her name was Slowpoke. She was called Slowpoke from when they first got her. Because she wasn't the fastest. She was the perfect riding horse. Slow. You know, that slow and steady wins the race. What's the... Patty G, what's the actual name of the eagle cam? Um, There's several of them. You have to pick them by regions. Time for me to go see you tomorrow. Okay, bye, June. Time to take her sister to physical therapy. Enjoy. Try to enjoy. Because there's, is it Raptor? Seems like there's one called Raptor. I had several of them going. I was just fascinated by how the different areas, the different eagle nesting times. It's just like anything else. It goes by climate, I guess. They're all within each other. Everybody telling June to have a safe day. It's been just, it's been over an hour, I know. It says 38 watching, 41 thumbs up. One went out, one came in. I haven't seen Carrie on here yet. Carrie's almost got another dog blanket done. She just sent me another picture. But I can't go get it right now. I'm going to get these squared up to my two and a half inches.
but it's like one block at a time. That's all we can do. I I was going to chain piece a couple of these blocks. Yeah. Nancy, Patty G, Nancy wants to know which area is your eagle cam that has the, the geese laid their eggs up in the nest. Uh, Decorah, Iowa. I guess that's how you pronounce it, Decorah. I know I have one that's called Raptor. And but thank you, Patty G. And some of the sites they will post back on Facebook that I've been linked to. And then some of the cams, they just shut them down for the winter. I was wishing they would have a cam camera over at live cam at Lake Cord over by Sandpoint, Idaho. They get hundreds and hundreds. The The people that live over there get so tired of all the tourists that come over to watch the eagles that they can't even get to their house. The traffic is just ridiculous on the weekends. So then these owners of the property, they either plan a getaway for the weekend or they just don't go anywhere. But one of them counted thousands of cars went by. Thousands. All, and they'd stop when they seen eagles up in the trees around all these cabins. They'd stop. They'd block driveways. It's like they'd walk on people's private property. Uh, website, De Eagle Watching at Decora, Iowa. No, it, the baby eagles have been hatching. The little eaglets are so cute. They're so fuzzy. And at first, you'd never even know that they was an eagle. <laughs> We used to go when I lived up north more because my chances of seeing an eagle are slim to none. Buy a lottery ticket if you see one. It's like, but when we lived up north, the northern Washington, Kathy could go out to the woods and out, out of town and find them because Melinda found some the other day. And we had somebody killing the eagles up there. The idiot made the mistake on one of them. And he can't figure out how he got caught. He he shot it with a arrow. Crossbow or whatever. But an arrow. Well, those arrows, they you can track back to the store that it was purchased from. And they have a list of who buys them. Or small town USA, they remember who bought him. We can't figure out why he got caught. That's quite a find to, to kill an eagle. I think he got five, five years. I think he had to do five years of probation. And they told him he was lucky. That you got just five years of probation. You should have got five years prison. They, was, they thought they would use him as an example. One time. That it's illegal to kill the eagle. They have enough problem with eating 
poison foods because people poison them too. They have every right to live just like we do. They don't hurt anything. And they are beautiful to watch when they're in the glide with their wings open. I used to go up to the river where this one eagle group was and just sit there all day and watch them. My kids was too little then. Melinda was almost two and Ronnie was nine months old. It's like, I would just go up and watch the eagles. They probably thought it was weird. I got to be in the playpen. I pack a playpen up. And then we'd pick asparagus up there. They would be in the playpen. While I went and got the wild growing asparagus. But it's just another. And you have to have those things. Something different. Nothing quilting related. And then I. I watch a lot of the natural ones. There's some people that raise deer. They, I don't like like why they raise the deer, but they raise the deer. And to watch the deer born and whatnot. That's the fun part. That is that is fun also. And I saw the trumpeter swans flying overhead Friday. Ooh, yep. They're heading back up. It's always fun when... I See, I don't... So if they're heading down from up in your area, I probably have a few more weeks. We have a small lake. That they go to and then they stay out there for, it's called Cow Lake. Cow Lake on one side and I forget what the other lake's called. But they go out there and they just have a blast. That's where they're resting. And they only land and rest where there is water. That is one thing they, they do do. They only land where there's water. Somebody's on Snapchat. I forgot to turn my phone off. But the trumpeter swans. It's like we went over the pass going towards Kathy's one time. And at the town where Susan Year out lives, outside of there, there was a whole bunch of trumpeter swans on the water. And I was playing this little kid. I says, yeah. That's because their beaks like a trumpet. And I says, and wait till you see the saxophone in ones. He goes, Sax there's two kinds of swans? Because he was five or six. I says, yeah. So we're looking all over for the saxophone ones. <laughs> and then I had to tell him that there was no such thing. Because he was looking so hard try and find one but it's like you can play kids for that I like playing with their with their minds I haven't been out to that lake since my husband passed away I swear I took Nora and Austin, Melinda and Alicia. They had a no school day because it was their senior year. 
and being my husband had just passed away, I told Nora and Austin that they could have a no school day also. And the senior trip was supposed to class the skip the sneak day. They were supposed to go out to Cow Lake. So we figured we'd go crash the, the party. No, they changed lakes. So we crashed. Nobody. But then we come we stayed out there and played in 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 the cold creek and everything. Or or the lakes, I should say. And it's like then we come home and I find a, a wood wood tick on the dog. So I had to call and tell them. Check for ticks. Then they was yelling. Grandma, why did you take us out there where there's bugs? I says, they're, I can't control where they're at. I didn't get one on me, but it does give you the creepy feelings. I says, but you should be the one going through Oreo's hair and Tuffy's hair trying to find them. Because they had a lot of hair. We never found one on the human, only the pets. And I said, it must have been because they was closer to the ground. But they go, we was holding the dogs. Because we have pictures. They walked out across where the two lakes join. There's a little stream. But we have pictures of them holding the dogs as they was walking across to the other island. Because we was going to walk down. And see if we could find any of the swans. Because they go to the far end away from the people. So there's that group is done. This is one section I have to have. Next I got to make um, the section that goes around this. This gets made bigger. And I have to lay it out. But you guys can kind of see there. I can pull it down a little bit more. And I have to have four. For this side. And they. Lay this way. The long side against the long side. But they. There's a name for that angle there. I don't know what it is. But there's a name for it. I'd have to look it up. And then you do the same thing on this side. Then I take these untouched pieces. These ones go here. It's always a puzzle. Putting quilt blocks together is a puzzle. And then these two and a half inch squares go right next to the two and a half inch half square triangle. So these have to be sewed together, and then these get sewed onto here, and then these sewed together that go onto there. So I'll set those blocks up. I keep saying I'm going to make me a plywood floor so my sewing machine presser foot doesn't keep wandering off. So I'll put all four of these together, watching my bobbin thread. I really don't want to play on the bigger stretch. I want my bobbin thread to run out before then. So what else is everybody doing? We know Kathy was watching TV. And I've already got two pieces of junk mail and made, what did I make? 40 more has, has, uh, hexi board, cardboards? 
It's just a habit. Take the junk mail and punch them out. You're just watching me? Okay. Kathy's listening. I use the cutting board under my foot pedal. It's like, that might work. I cut out an old mouse pad that I was going to do a double-sided double Velcro and put on the bottom. Because those rubber pads on those mouse pads are quite firm. But I haven't found the, the, the double-sided Velcro that will stick very long. So I might have to just hot glue them on. By hot gluing them, it should come right back off. But I got to get the two things in my head all on the same. Because I go, why did I cut these my mice pads up? And it just came to me. That's why I did it. Uh, at least I have been. Eats tons of baseball games. Watching him. See, it's like. Not so many shorts. Then I'll press these. Still got bobbin thread. I know it runs out eventually. Watching, watching and eats comes out really close together, doesn't it, Kathy? <laughs> I was trying to figure out. See, Kathy, being she's in the chat writing, she's finding out why we have such weird wording. Yeah, autocorrect uh, tries to figure out what we're going to say. And it doesn't always figure it right. And then the little monster comes out just before you send it. And it changes it. Because I've looked. Savannah Bananas, Kathy, is what Lisa wanted to know. Is that an actual team? I don't know. I'd have to Google that one. Because I don't know that much about baseball. And my granddaughter is still playing on her softball team. She'll have to quit here before long because they won't let her. And she doesn't want to be a coach. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry, Lori. I had leg cramps again. It's like, can't figure out why i uh, it's weird is it potassium withdrawals i don't have leg cramps until i go to the store and i buy three bananas and i'll eat those bananas in either the one day or the two days this last time was all in the same day i had one with breakfast lunch and or lunch dinner and snack and then I get the leg cramps the day after. Is there such a thing as potassium withdrawals? <laughs> it's like give your body the drug and then you don't have it anymore. I don't know. But I had leg cramps and foot cramps. 
Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I mean, it hurts so bad. <laughs> it, oh. Uh, and of course, when I said something to Austin, he was laughing. We was talking on the phone and I had a leg cramp and I, it's like, he goes, what, 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 what grandma? Cause it's like, I, I didn't, you know, my voice changed. I says leg cramp. He starts laughing. <laughs> he says, isn't it the pits to get old? And I thought, not just old people get leg cramps, but my foot cramp. I didn't know our toes could bend in such weird concoctions. I didn't know toes could cross like that, but they can. Just ran out of bobbin thread. Quarter of an inch off of the corner of the block. Quarter of an inch short. So put in a new one. And Lisa's saying, Google Savannah Bananas. I'll forget by the time I get there. I would have to write that thing down. So maybe grab a pencil. S.S. Savannah My grandson will think it's a brand of banana that I'm eating if he sees it on this table. Maybe I better write, Google it myself. In other words, I might wonder. I'm going to have to take a find extra 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 fine sandpaper my cutting board starting to get rough out in the middle or just let fisker know he's gone where'd the other one go oh this is the one i have to so finish the quarter inch my brain's not remembering I always check for any lint down in there. My mom was a fast pitch women's. Every time there'd be a game on, it's like, don't call your mom at that time. She loved fast pitch. My arm would hurt watching those girls throw that fast pitch ball. And when I told Emily and Alicia about it when they started ball, they they watched a little bit of it because there's some YouTubes out there on it. They go, no, Grandma, that'd throw our arm out. pitchers in soft women's softball. I don't know how their arms stay.
But Emily's still playing third base. I told her just be safe not to get hit. I mean, I didn't stop much of anything. I went tobogganing, tubing when I was pregnant with Ronnie. Because we had we always got snow like in October. And she was born in November. But had to have fun. Didn't think about any of that other stuff. You know, just like as a kid, on a thunderstorm, go out and in the aluminum boat in the lake and lay there and watch the lightning. We hear the clap and then the strike. But we's out there in an aluminum boat in the middle of the lake, not thinking anything about lightning striking us. So now I'll turn them this way. Hello, Bailey. Did you come to say you're high? Okay. Throw my arm up. Oh, I didn't say that far. Say hi, everybody. You just have to say hi to everybody. Yeah? Yeah? Hold those tags so they don't hear the angel get its wings. Yeah, when it gets a little warmer, I'll open the door. Yeah, when it gets a little warmer. Yes. My head don't go any higher. There, did you say your hi to everybody? Okay. Nope. Nope. It's like, <laughs> it's like, you're, you're a big baby. You're a big baby. Now, go back out. You had your minute or two of setting on me. Yep. Means she's starting to shed some more. I'm trying to keep her out of the room. But that doesn't work. I don't have a gate that I can put across there. Denise. Used to sit on the porch with my grandpa when I was a youth listening to the Kansas City Royals on the radio. Batting flies, mosquitoes. Never learned anything about the game. Just like to sit with my grandpa. Yep. My mom would go watch any lady softball games. It's like, that was her thing. And I never took softball. I, was a, I have no hand-eye coordination to catch those balls. And Kathy's just now. Responding back to Lisa. Denise says, hi, Bailey girl. She's looking for the Easter roast. Yeah. She had some carrots. Because I just had leftover stew for my Easter dinner. I had leftover stew and a, a drumstick Sunday cone. It's not the same as what the swan man brought, but their cones were better. Their ice cream was better in the swans sales, which is now what? Yellow? They said that they can send it to me. I bet that's a nice package. My mom had her own baseball league back during World War II. So proud of her still. They were in the news a few times. Yeah. 
That's my favorite show to watch is the League of Our Own. The League of Their Own. League of Their... It's like... I loved watching that. My, uh, my mom would have loved it. I don't remember if it was out before my mom passed away or not. I just spent 30 minutes looking for a lost screw. I'm glad I found a spare. Okay. You got lucky on that one. You got lucky on that one, Terry. I forget what I was going around my house looking for the other day. Oh, the pill bottle for the rot rotary blades. Because I found the lid for it. I wanted to put the lid on it before Alani came here. And it's like... So I come in here because Rita was going live. But I spent two days hunting for this pill bottle after I found the lid. <laughs> and I go open one drawer just before Rita's live. And there's the pill, the bottle. I'm trying to downsize off of two, three drawer units. It's working slowly. I got one drawer to go, but I have the two drawers in the sewing machine bench. Because I need to move that three drawer. I, I actually need to put Ronnie's big Christmas cactus on top of the three door thing until she takes that cactus. But it might be dead before she does that. She told me to water it weekly and I water it monthly if that so if the plant dies it's due to neglect because my christmas cactuses or thanksgiving cactus whichever we want to call it it doesn't require that much water maybe it'd grow more but it's the right size for my house and it's a but it keeps having branches fall off. So I'm trying to remember to water it every Sunday now. At least once a week. Okay. Now I get to set up for the joining of the, the groups here. This is a corner. This is a side, and then this one's a corner, 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 oops, corner, <laughs> filler, filler. So my first sew, because the, the space isn't big enough, a 13 inch square doesn't work. I just kind of conglomerate them out here. And then I sew the first one. It's like sew the first one. Sew the corner and the top one together. Pink has to be pointing towards the center. And it's one of those things you guess when you sew that they meet. Because I'm... I heard that on somebody else's. You just hope they, they cross their paths. And so far, I better start knocking on that piece of wood, right? It has worked. It has worked. But Saturday... When I come home from the gender reveal, I have an Amazon package. And it's a very heavy Amazon package. I got, as a gift, eight cans of lemon pie filling. <laughs> so I can make 
eight angel food cakes with lemon pie filling. And we, we know who to say. We don't need to guess very far. But I never made one. I, I was held from it yesterday. I got to get some things done first. And then I'll treat myself. Means Melinda will be back on this weekend. I might save it to where I know somebody else is going to be here to help eat it. And I could always send some up to the other family too. But we're all trying to be so good. So Terry, are there any videos or articles online on your mom's team? Oh, lost my leader in Ender somewhere, but I can do it this way. I don't have to re-thread my needle very often. So, this is the bottom. This is the top. So, the corners of the bottom have to be pointing towards the pink. I'm waiting to see if Terry answers that on the team's name. Not that I know of. I had her photo album of that time. Oh, you lost it in the hurricane. Day. Oh, that's sad. Lost all that memorabilia. Natural dis disasters don't take time to think about what we lose. Alicia to this day is still uh, finding things that she's missing from the fire. And then that gets her her anxiety going. But you can't be prepared for everything. I used to have all my photo albums sitting right under a window. So in case there was a fire, I could just bust that window and reach in and take my photo albums. Well, it got to be too many photo albums that I needed a window seat almost. Yes, my anxiety, my heart is racing thinking about it. Yes. So I've decided that I want to put just the professional pictures that I've scrapbooked because that shows everybody throughout the years, except for there's no pictures of. I've, I've only had a couple professional pictures taken. But our family pictures, like all of them on my wall, I actually have a. That's a copy on my wall. The original's in the book. That way you're not racing all over the house trying to grab this, grab this, grab this. But my grand, great grandkids, and, and that's their original picture. That's the original. It's out on the wall. But we're just using standard photos anymore because professional pictures aren't out there anymore. So starting 
get got to get new pictures because their birthdays are coming up. That's how I used to get pictures by holidays or birthdays, you know, special occasions. It helps your mind remember the date that way. And then, of course, Christmas ones was at Christmas. But you don't get the pictures like we used to. There was every time you turn around, there was an Easter special, a Christmas special that you could go these photographers. But they don't do that anymore. They don't do that anymore. I miss that. So we have to be our own photographers now. When they used to put them in the metal pan with the little baker's hat and then the rolling pins and put some powder or something on them to get make them look like they was playing in the flower. Those were some of the cutest pictures. Playing with the big giant number for like their second birthday. And wagons full of flowers. It's like, there were so many different ones. They just don't do things like they used to. Our grocery store had them all the time. And I never missed the one. Because it was only like 19 bucks for... So many 8x10s, 5x7s, wallets, everything. It's like more than enough to go around to everybody. Now that I got it webbed, this is what I, my last of the web sewing. Almost two hours. Because I know I started before 10. Because I was sitting here. And that gives me four to go. Does that look like it's going to line? Yep. I always peek. It's that. So it works out. It's like, okay. This one I have to line up. I didn't use pins. I just finger as I go. My normal way. My daughter was going to give me a, a safe that she was given. And she thinks it would just hold those profession, those photo albums I want. <laughs> Patty G, isn't that amazing? And to watch the people play dumb. It was, it was, no. <laughs> it's like. She's watching the border security. Yeah. But why these people play innocent? They're, you can tell they're as guilty as all get out. But she said, ended up watching all three seasons. <laughs> but there was, there was a couple of them that they was innocent. I thought they was guilty after watching those other ones. But found out they was innocent. They didn't have anything. 
but it it doesn't help when I'm going to get on a flight. Are they going to question me at, at any of the gates? <laughs> There, it's two-thirds done. This has been a fun quilt top. And I'm thinking about, because I'm using a white with a gray, I have two different grays. Had two different grays sitting here. There they are. I'm thinking about a gray sashing. I have this very light gray. And then I have a, this is all shadow play. And, but this one here, I have seven of them. This one, I only have one, but it's a sample. And then the darker, I think I like the darker if it's enough. And all I can do is hope it's enough or hope they have more of it. But I won't even begin using it until I know. And then I've been been, wa been watching all of the last of the last Alaskan because the families that are got the land. This is the last their kids. And thank you, Jean. Hello, Jean. The last Alaskan. Those people, no electricity, no, <laughs> like, but then the younger ones, when you, you go to the original, you know, the, the father, mother, and then their kids get to go down and continue out there. When those kids come out of the generators, the, the cordless saws, they have the radio, they have all that stuff that they listen to. And the old school, the old folks, you know, if they do have a generator, it's only for minimal use because where do you buy all the gas? And like the one guy that last Alaskans, to know that he was dying, he died of cancer and watching that show. I was in tears. I would actually cry. But he got to see his great his granddaughter. His daughter was in a very bad accident of some sort. And it's like they didn't think that she would ever even walk again. And to see her walk, she come out and spent the time with her dad because he's getting older. And she went back and she told her mom. They the only reason the mom and dad divorced is out there in the middle of nowhere with no conveniences. To be able to shower and bathe and use a toilet, not an outhouse. <laughs> yeah. She said it was fine for a few years, but then it got ridiculous. But when she went back after spending some time with her dad. She told her mom what she felt. And she went back out. And she spent a week with him. And then they brought him into town. And he had cancer and died. But it's like. It was sad knowing the end results. It brought back so many memories for me. And then Donna says. I'm sitting on the front porch. Watching and enjoying the absolutely beautiful day. It's 79 degrees, partly sunny, beautiful day. I have, let's see what my watch tells me. 52 degrees, partly cloudy. Supposed to get up to 66. I always tell Bailey when it gets closer to the 60, I'll open the door. But it's just amazing what shows we can get.
get to watching. Who would have thought I'd watch Alaska shows? I love out the outdoors. But I don't think I could live there with no for very long. In the newer show, those people they live in town during the summer months and have fun and whatnot. Then when it comes time for filming, it's winter. They gotta go out and do the the show because they want that money coming in. And I said, do it because you want to do it, not because of you're getting compensated for it. I have a different way of thinking, I guess. Do it because you love doing it, not because you're getting paid to do it. And those dogs eating all that fish and whales fat and the parts of the animal that they don't want to eat. We don't eat. They eat it. They just put it in and they freeze in great big huge ice chunks. I told Bailey she's lucky she's not on a icky fish diet. And she looks at me like, huh? But that's how it is. There, I set the seam. I don't know. It seems to work. It makes it easier for when you fold it back over. Set in the seam. I just do it because they say we need to do it. And I hope I don't have any blocks of on upside down. And I don't see any because I see the whole star in the middle. But I think, I know Carrie said up where she's at, supposed to have snow on Wednesday. And she's hoping it doesn't. I have a chance of rain sometime later. But there's this block with its... Oh, one scene flipped over. I'll go fix that real fast. I, it's like... This, this one's brown, pinks, and blues. But it's like a stack and whack. You use all the colors in the different blocks. You had to come up with a, what the way you wanted to fix them. Fix them and mix them. And thank you, Ramona. Hi, Ramona. And thank you. Hi, Mar Mary. It's beautiful. It is a very easy, it is an easy one. And it uses up your fat quarters. It, it is a good block for that. Oh, I guess I better give it a little spritz of water. It wants to be stubborn. Donna, I've de developed a weird fascination for true crime stuff. Most recently, the Ruby Frank, Jody Hildebrand child abuse case. Wow. There are some sick people in this world. Yes, there are. But then I look at what we get to watch. And then it seems like you see it happen in real life. So are, are weirdos watching these shows too? It's just amazing. I watch 48 Hours. And 48 hours, I don't think, has been on in a long time. But I love all those old things. Hi, Carol. Thank you. I've never made a quilt that just involves one block, but means they're all the different colors. It's fine. 
but it's using all 16, so 17 colors so far are being used because of the background. Okay, the fat quarters that are here are my birthday present from Laura last year. They're Lori Holtz, what she calls, um, oh, just forgot the word, calicos. This is Lori Holtz fat, fat quarter bundle had like, well, I got 16 here and I think there's 20 over there. So there's like 46 fat quarters in the bundle. And then this was a gray and white. It's more like a shirting, what they call a shirting, because it's a little thinner. And I bought it from Marshall Dry Goods. So these are Lori Holtz calicos. I just, I split the bundle because there's only like two purples or three purples in the whole fat quarter bundle. Hi, Northern Willow Girl. Thank you. And Donna's been watching 48 Hours, too. And it's like, are you telling them, check this person, check this person? That's what I do. It's, it, I says, it's obvious it's this person. So this will go hang on the wall. And four to go. They're so big and my design wall so small. I put where you get to see half, and then the last the one on the row, you get to see the whole block. Because I don't know if that's... I'm just randomly grabbing them up here. But it's like, if you guys want me to stay longer, I can start on the next one. I got all the bind borders on Nora's quilt. It's ready to go. And then when I get these blocks done and start quilting that one, it's like my next thing is to get Kathy's favorite, Summer Moon, down. I'm going to sew it. I have it in three pieces right now. And I'm going to just sew it together and I'm going to send it off to Miss Courtney. Pieces pieces of love and quilts that was on here earlier. I'm sending it to her to get it done. Oh, Rita Roost is live right now. If you guys want to go over there, that's fine. But I can start the next one. Kathy, what's so funny? It's like, like I said, I can start another one because there's nothing for me to do the rest of the day here. I did doggy detail. I did it all yesterday. Oh, the summer moon? Yeah. But I'm going to mail that out to Courtney. And it's going to have meandering butterflies. We've already checked out that part. So, this is my four color combinations. You would never think a brown would make a, a flower and then I, the red has little little tiny chicks please i have two of that color maybe i'll do there and believe it or not out of the fat quarter this is my leftovers this is leftover from 16 fat quarters and and guess what the one block that come up missing, I found it. In other words, I'd have a bigger piece. <laughs> it's like six hours to go. You want me to do eight hours, Kathy? Is that what you're doing? See, I would have had 16 pieces like that if I wouldn't have lost. So it's like. I don't know what I'm doing with these yet. They're just sitting on the tray because this is all this quilt. 
I vote keep going. Okay, I'll get another block going. Maybe you guys will want to do the a fat quarter block. So my first thing is take four of these. Sit them to the side. This is where you count to make sure. One, two, three, four. Because they don't get anything done with them. Oh, Nina, you feel like you're sewing with friends? Okay. And then I need to take four of these off. Because they don't have anything done to them. So this is flying geese units. Okay, you're watching? Okay. I know, I always try to find somebody to sew with. I know Lily Pop Love said that she was going to try and listen in when at work when she could. Okay, that's that size. So those get together. Then I have to think the flying geese are made from the red. So this one is not harmed. Okay, Donna. So beans, that's the flying geese. So I don't goof them up like I did last time. So I need to draw on the back of these in the back of these. Got to start drawing some lines. I'm going to have to remind, oh, put another note on my board here. Order some friction pins. I'm on my last two. I thought I had more. That's what pencils and cutting mats can, are good for. You can write on notes on things. I have on here Carrie Leonard's birthday is April 29th. And it's funny when you go back and you read your cutting board. It's like, oh. <laughs> I've written things that for like my groceries that I want. It's amazing what I write on my cutting board. Because my cutting board isn't going to be put in the garbage. And I know Ma Maureen should be getting out of her quilting class here before long. But I I'm glad she has that available. Yeah, the group of ladies that used to get together on Thursdays here, one gal moved to Cassie's side of the mountain. And... So it was one gal that she had to drive 30 miles to get here. And, and I. So and the other one was 17 miles. And they just found no reason to travel anymore. Do you take the cutting mat with you to the grocery store? No. I have to re redo it. LOL. Have you ever tried the notes app on your phone? Yes. I I on my old phone. I'll have to see if it stayed. Because I get the same groceries each time. But every once in a while I'll think of something different I need. I'm gonna check because I had the app, the notes. Uh, it's got a different color. I know that. Uh, 
No, it only kept one folder. It lost my grocery folder. I lost my birthday folder. It kept my password folder only. That's not nice. I'm glad you said something, Jean. Now I have to put all the birthdays back up there. That told me, like when I went to the store, if I was buying a birthday gift or seen something that I'd look to see, is it their birthday? And then I wrote on here, like Karen Evans is from Washington. And it's like, used to say Nina was a West Coast girl. <laughs> it was where I was using it all the time. Don't write down in the one, one corner means I use that corner the most. I had black on the side of my hand. I had erased everything that I had written down there. So it has to be further up into the mat. But it used to have the lemon pie filling up there because I was going to Google it. Now I have eight cans, so I don't have to worry for a while. The only thing I have to worry about is eating them lemon, lemon bars. Greatly appreciated receiving them. But Laura said one day on, she was, between her and the kids, they was going to make me a diabetic. Because, like, Melinda bought me three pounds of Huckleberry saltwater taffy. And the cow tails and big hunks. And then Laura sent me the big hunks for Valentine's Day as a, a pun joke. You subscribe to Pieces, Loves, and Quilting? Okay. Thank you, Maritza. But, yeah, she quilted Melinda's snowflake quilt because I wanted the very detailed snowflake in it. There are some things that there is an advantage over the computer. And see, Courtney's still here listening. And she knows she's getting summer moon. But I just want to get some of the, especially the bigger quilts. Where I have to do them in three sections. It's like, it just takes me twice as long to get the quilt done. But if I had the longer table, if I had a room... The only room that, if I took the couch out of the living room, I might have space. But I kind of like having a couch in my living room. It's, it's really nice to have places for more than one person to sit. But it's like, at, earlier, Lisa put... Oh, I think Courtney was here when Lisa put her name up in the chat. But I'm sure Courtney's working on... She has a couple different projects going. Someone had her quilt some fabric. She's recovering her headboard. She doesn't want her leopard anymore. And so... Courtney did a... Re how long was that piece you had to quilt That on that one project? It was a long one. But they was going to make other, I think, more than one quilt out of it. Courtney would have to say on that one. Okay, that goes to that. These go to this. But 
I'm not if I remember right, I think she said something about 15 yards of something. Oh, I got to check for the ones that have that salvage edge in it. Put them on top. That way I remember to put this snowball corner up in there. And then I know Courtney did a quilt. The gal ordered this quilt and then she wanted it bigger and everything. And then Courtney gets it just about done and she backs out. So if you make quilts for anybody, please get the materials. Get all the material money up front and part of your labor. Because you don't want to be stuck. It's a beautiful quilt, but it's the color choices, too. You have to find a person that wants those color choices. You learn, and it's like, you don't think anybody would do that, but then it happens. And when it happens, it hurts. I see your shirt. Have you ever been to the Smoky Mountains? No, my son just got back from the Smoky Mountains. And he brought me back a souvenir t-shirt. He wants to go back. He says he wants to go back and take his grandkids. Well, it's like being as Ellen is what, eight months old? See, if we're in four, five, seven months old, eight months old. But he. He brought me back. This is a souvenir. And then I like the smash pennies. So I got smash pennies and a couple tokens. They went up to that, that view site where you can see seven states. He enjoyed that. And... But they, they changed out of where they were saying, staying because the motel was 300 and some dollars a night. He says, for the rest of our vacation that we're out there, he says, when the organization that had Jamie there, they was paying for that other room. And it's like, he said, glad it was their dollars because <laughs> he says, I can't afford 300 and some dollars a night. But something about it, the hotel, I forget what it was called, has a big, giant indoor trees, flowers, everything in it. And it's like, he says it was a very elaborate. And then, but he says, not not no three hundred and twenty eight dollars a day. He said you almost had to have a map just to get around the motel. And he's been in several fancy ones down in Las Vegas, and he says this was unreal. It was the Grand something. I don't know if it was the Grand Opry Motel or what. But they went to all those different sites, too. But he almost got this shirt in blue. And 
his wife goes, why would you get your mother a blue shirt? Well, maybe she wants something different. <laughs> so you can see who won the toss. Jamie won. I still have to go back and get a Olympic National Park shirt. I was trying to get all the shirts from the different national parks in our area. Even though I regretted wearing Mount Rainier's one time. No, the Olympic Mountain. I got the one from Olympic. I don't have Mount Rainier. Mount Rainier. I went to a physical therapy class or had to go to physical therapy and I was wearing my Olympic mountain. It says the mountains are calling and the therapist says, I'll watch your mountains go up and down the ladder. I was, did not like that. I told him it wasn't polite, but it made me regret going to physical therapy, I guarantee you. Yes, Miss Bailey. But I finished my physical therapy with him and never wore that shirt there again. I never wore a shirt that had any design again. And then when I went back for my other therapies, it was a father-son thing. And I got the son after that point. But I still, you know, sometimes father like son. Son like father. You could say it the right direction. It's like, male. Do I got any junk? Yep, it looks like all junk. It's pretty good when I can sit in my house and watch my junk mail arrive. I've got to make sure I don't pull one back up and put it in the wrong spot. One, two, three. Double count, triple count. Make sure I don't goof up, right? It's like, it's okay to goof because that's natural. But it's not okay to goof on when you're doing a live. <laughs> it's like, not for me. I don't want to dig out Jack. But I have been. On the 12-hour live I did. And I still thank Patty G for watching and seeing that one was off. Did I take the four out of the pile? Okay. Looking like I'm going to have leftover because I can't count. That might be why I had to cut more. I had the wrong number in one pile. That's okay. I'm subject to errors. I can't count. 
or I get distracted. Can't blame it on any great grandkids because they haven't been here. Okay, one, two, three, four, too many. Just move them to another pile. Because, like I said, I still have three blocks to go. Oh, that's because I drew the line on the wrong one. It's like, got to draw some more lines. There's 16 blocks that didn't get their line. If I had a bigger deck, maybe I'd use that tape, but I doubt it. I always stick with the definite winner. That's just me. There's always one way that's foolproof, and I've did it for over 30 years, so why change it now? The only thing I changed is instead of doing it in pencil, I have friction pin. Still a ruler. I used to draw all my squares out with a regular school ruler with pencil, cut them out with scissors. And then in 1990, I think it was, I bought my first rotary cutter. And I still have that rotary cutter. The button broke on the side, but I still use it. I just sat it up, it's up there behind me. And then they sent me a new one. Because they, their guarantee. And it's like, we always have to send pictures. So I imagine they probably use those pictures as a promotion thing. But I was, the only thing I was able to buy was all Fiskers. I have Fisker mats, Fisker cutter, Fisker this and that. And then the only rulers in my area to buy was uh, OmniGrid. And now that I've got creative grids, I like it. I shouldn't say I like it. I love it. Because the OmniGrid, even though they said, or OmniGrip, what does it say now? OmniGrid. I put the rubber things on it. They're coming off now. And I, the little there's a little sandpaper dot that you can get. That works out really well. Okay. These these is the in betweeners. I try to chain as many of these blocks as I can. Because it's... I I tried making a quilt with the leader and enders, and I ended up sewing things together wrong. I had a mess. Maybe the only thing I could sew it with leader and enders might be a like the postage stamp quilt, or their isn't, I guess there isn't really a plan. You make a block. I don't know if you keep the white separate or not. I'll have to look that up. But it's like, I don't plan on making a postage stamp. Closest I would ever get would might be two and a half inch squares. <laughs> it's like, this. This tail was going down to the floor. It's 
So done, done. Just needs its trimming and pressing later. And then I hate where my my brain memorizes this pattern. It's like will it erase out of my head? I hope it does. Because I don't want to cut something else wrong thinking you know, this is the pattern it's supposed to be on. But the Press flowers I'm using when we, we do that. That's in purples and do I do I have the background yet? I don't think so. I don't remember. But I started using backgrounds that have a small print. And I do like the way it looks. Because I've been using white on white, but I have a bunch more off-white to use up. A bunch more. So my next one using up fat quarters will be using scraps of off-white. Courtney's back again. Did you go grab us lunch? Well, hers would be almost dinner time. Because Courtney's in Kansas. Okay. Finger press. Uh, Courtney, it's almost 3 p.m. When you made that giant pieces that you quilted together, how many yards was that? That one, that one that you quilted for that one guy or gal, that big, huge thing you quilted, it was just regular material. I think it, fifteen yards. That's what I thought. She had fun getting that in a a box. I'm sure. I am sure just watching her play with that on the machine, trying to get it off and fold it with something else. I didn't think she's ever going to run out of pulling it off of the long arm. We, we get together on off screen. Did you get the headboard designed? How much are you going to have to have for that? That was at midnight her time, 9 o'clock my time, that she was doing that headboard brainstorming. these up there. Okay, some more of these. I figured three stars and a border around it. Okay, that would work. When she gets to do Different things. 
So the stars will be on point? Are they going to be on point, I should ask you? Stars, when they're on point, they take a little bit of a different look sometimes. And I like that. So, what you working on today, Courtney? I know she's got a, a few to quilt. But she has the computer, so if they do a computerized, she can... So on a, a project, the legit kits, muscle car, and long arming the cust. Okay, because she can do two things at once. Unless I teach Bailey how to long arm, it is going to work for me. That could be interesting. <laughs> She's tall enough; she could run it. But she's not relaxed enough. Because when you long arm, you just relax and, as, as I call it, dance with the machine. Because that's what you're doing. You're the leader. You're the leader. But it's like... Melinda won't try. I tried getting Melinda to attempt it, and she's, nope, I can't do it. And Austin's too hyper. And then Connie, I just, there was no, it wasn't on or anything. I just had her with the laser light just follow the pattern. She couldn't follow that road map for all the, all the tea in China either. And she was so tense. Those loops would have been squares. That you get a little loopy loop. It's supposed to be a, a circle or an oval. Hers would have been all squares. She was so tense. Daughter-in-law caught on right off, off the bat. I was amazed. We, sure. But she says, yeah, after you're there for a while, it is a pattern. You look for these different shapes. Because it's like, could be a butterfly, could be a just a mountain. But you start recognizing... And she learned her, the, Alicia's whole quilt. And then, so she's going to have to long arm Emily's quilt when she gets done. And Alan's. She embroiders her blocks. And then she wanted Minky on the back. So, after we learned the Minky, how it stretched. And what we needed to do as a long armor. Because that, I call it dot minky. I'm not sure what it's called. It has some stretch in some of them. And you can't have stretch. I mean, it buckles up that elasticity in that minky. Will make it look like it's it's aging. Do I have them all sewed? Yep, all but the 
Now I have to do the, some cutting up again, and then I can do my four flying geese units. Oh, I got 52 thumbs up. Wow. I just glanced over there. 52 thumbs up. I didn't know I had 50. It's like, I know I have 285 subscribers. But 52 thumbs up. I know Courtney advertises. Or she has me as a link on hers. For her. Uh. Whatever that other media is that she goes to all the time. I'm not one of those media persons, so. TikTok. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just know it's another one of those. I have 290 subscribers. Wow. That means I should refresh, huh? I, I was like, I might get somewhere. Not. That means I got five new subscribers today. And then the other thing, if you are on YouTube, if you want people to watch your video, you have to come up with the unique wording. Like, this block, make sure I put Swoon 16 in there. And then anybody that's making that Swoon 16, they'll come over and watch. Because it's like, I had to quit putting just killing time. Because I might have attracted hunters. <laughs> so I went in and edited my titles. But I have another one of Ace to download. And my old phone wouldn't do it. So I had to try to send it to myself. Well, I had to cut it down in quality so bad. And then it wouldn't send it. My old phone was just too much. So draw some more lines. Draw lines, draw lines, draw lines. But yeah, if I can get all these blocks done this week. And then maybe I can get Nora's all done, back together. I have yet to decide if I'm going to show you guys on my quilt as you go how I join them. But I should record that. Because... It does tell people, if they only have a small area, what they can do. And quilt as you go, I have added borders on the, like my 48 inch wide quilts that my machine does. Well, if I want to make it six inches wider and I have the right batting, I use the quilt as you go technique. And then put them on. And then I just go out and quilt like an inch from where I joined it. And an inch from the outside where the binding goes. But it's just showing different techniques that you can do. 
like the other day, Denise wanted me to record patching those pants. Well, of course, I busted a needle right off the bat. And I don't have the editing stuff. And I had to go find a jean needle. But I never finished recording it. And I give him back his pants on at the baby reveal. So he's looking forward to wearing his jeans again. He, he does a lot of mechanicing at his own place. And then he has his UTV. He has a razor. That they go riding down in the dunes and whatnot. So now the four flying geese units. You can't be afraid of a flying goose. And I don't care if I do the four and one, the, it's like, they're fine. I'm happy with whatever goose I get done. That one was my leader for now. Trim it and put it up there so I don't misplace it. Because this has to be pressed and trimmed. There's a whole pile up there. But I always sew the right side of the goose on first and then the left. That's how I've always did. I don't know if they have a specific way. I guess I better take off the second layer. And so, Terry, are you still here? Is Kathy still here? No, so Terry's listening. But I just love that cotton cut, a boy will sew episode. That she sent for on Cassie's page for Cassie to watch. I watched that and it's like it's perfect. <laughs> but I love that kid. The person behind the camera says, Did Kathy watch that cotton cut that Terry shared? It's it is perfect for teaching you how to do your thing. Your hands are grubby. It's like, I just wanted you to know I watched that whole video. I thought it was the best. <laughs> that boy. But his, the person behind the camera says, <laughs> but I was sitting there watching the edits too. They had them close, but they were still a little off. Good, Kathy. I'm glad you watched that. Because it, it told you everything to do. And he just happens to have the same color as you. But I thought, what perfect timing. It's like the day after Kathy was reading hers on the live. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it was perfect timing, wasn't it? And the right color to boot. You hope he does one of every clue? That would be nice. That would be a good thing. I'm guessing that's does behind that. 
But I thought this one's perfect for Kathy. This is perfect. But it's showing people that doubt themselves, really, that they can do it. But I loved it. I really did. So I wonder if they'd sold out of some more kits after that one. Because that'd be the one that would draw the attention. Yeah, I watched it actually twice. Because the first time I watched all those little bleepers that when they was where they was cutting and pasting. Yeah, so if anybody's interested, Terry says, do you want the PMQ? Tree of Life. They're about to close it down. That way they don't have to cut extra stuff. But it's like, they have some pretty colors still left. When I looked the other day. I didn't order. I only looked. Because I was looking to see what Kathy's colors were. Uh, Donna Armstrong's back. It's like, I decided to make this a second block. So I'm still here. I have to get over here. I need to take off the lead. The lead one of the flock. I know I've heard of people writing down what blocks they have and then they make another quilt the same way out of their scraps. They make a two-in-one. I do use them, but quit because I have an acute quilt if I want to design something. Okay. It's Kathy's first time of making a cotton cut quilt. I have to stick with my do not buy. I have to stick with that. Well, it looks like all the pieces are sewed together. Got some trimming and some pressing to do. It doesn't take long for the pieces. It's like been about 50 minutes, I think. You're excited about getting it done? The only thing with the cotton, it wasn't big enough for what I have to have quilts at work. They have to be, I guess, some people call them utility quilts, but they have to be usable. I don't have enough walls. I'm going to have to start, if I have to do wall hangings, I'm going to have to make them the size of my windows. So I can use them as curtains. And the scant quarter, like Courtney said, yes. You have to do the scant quarter. I have did, I think, six or seven, eight AccuQuilt cut blocks from the Shop Pops. And my first one came way off. 
and I that's when I found definitely you have to do the scant. And then he adds bigger borders. Yeah. Because that's one thing. I want them to be usable. Someday they'll come in my house. I hope not. And, and find all the quilts on top of me in my bed. <laughs> well, I could say on top. But that one, one story of my housekeeping my in-home care days went to the lady's house and we had to clean it up and whatnot and went into her bed and i thought wow back then there was no such thing as a 10 inch mattress because this was back when if casey was four or five we'd be lucky and I thought, what the heck? So I went to change her sheets. She had the sheets and the blankets. And she put the fitted sheet on top of everything that she had. So it's like the top and bottom sheet. Clear down on the bottom, there was a mattress pad. But she'd buy another set of sheets. She'd put them over top of all her blankets and the other sheet set, you know, the top sheet. And then go to the, and then the next time, same thing. So she had all these blankets, all these sheet sets. I think there was six sets of sheets on her bed. <laughs> it was unreal had to take all that to the laundromat and wash them up but it made her bed at least four inches off of the height because she said she couldn't get in her bed anymore okay kathy go run do not run too far too fast kathy She's got to watch her soap. I'm just glad you even come over, Kathy. But it's just like her dinner table was the same way. She cooked food every day. She set the table for her brother. Her brother never... I think he had passed away and she wasn't taking it in reality. And she set the table. She dished up her brother's food. She put her food out on the table. She would eat her food. She'd just slide the plates all over to the other part of the dining room table, stacked them on top, food and all still there. And it's like, in the kitchen, every pan she had used to make that dinner before was stacked up. And it was just unreal what we had to go through. And I said, I hope this does not ever happen to me. I hope it does not ever. I says, I don't want to be this person. Of course I did. I wouldn't miss it for anything, Sandra. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. But, you know, when you see things like that, it just makes you go, oh, I hope this doesn't happen to me when I get older. Her poor dog, his toenails was ridiculous. I don't even want to give you guys all the graphics that we, I had to go through. It took two of us to clean this gal's two-bedroom house. We could only clean. The state would only pay for us to clean her bedroom, the kitchen, the dining room, and the bathroom. 
and get all of her clothes washed up. We d we went to the laundromat for three days. They actually closed the laundromat down for us so we could get all of them in the washer and the dryer because they had to shut down the laundromat and clean all the wash machines when we was done and the dryers. It was that bad. But that gal and I, we said, we went home every night and made sure our laundry was done. <laughs> we made sure our dishes was done. It's like, we went home, our garbage was taken out. But it's like, she ended up getting put in a care facility, and that care facility killed her because she couldn't take her dog. But her dog was not in good health. Maybe that's why I don't want a dog. Maybe I'll think I'll do the same thing she did. I love dogs, but there comes a time. That I need to worry about me myself. Because what if I do go to a care facility? Who's going to... I don't want to burden. Hi, Maureen. You did make it. How was class today? Or your sewing group? Are you at home or at your daughter's? Just different side of New York. Ouch. No class today? Okay. Still at the daughter's? Okay. It's like pretty good. We're all family. We all know where each person is. I'm home, as you can tell. I got to put up my Easter stuff this afternoon. I got to press the last two borders I put on Nora's quilt. And then start that procedure. Oh. Rita's two. And I asked Ra uh, Michaela if she got her shirt. Our cancer shirts in honor of her mom. Her battle that we fight, uh, our fight too. And it was closed due to the post office was closed. I don't want to quote it wrong. It was closed because of Ru Russian Orthodox holidays. So it was closed part of last week and opens back up today. My mother was so glad that she no longer had pets when she got cancer. She said that it was nice not to worry about them while she was in the hospital. Yes. And I don't want. It's like. When we had to hurry up and make a will when my husband was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And it's like. I put right in there a stipulation because we had the two dogs. I added them to it in case something happened to me because I've heard of so many other things. You like my rainbow peep? He's quite the big peep back there. 
I think he's three foot tall. Because I love peeps. I like petrified peeps. Is what I could say. I like petrified. <laughs> it's like, I don't have any pet petrified peeps. Okay. Maureen, I just finished last year's peeps or the or the year before. But fruit punch peeps do not get that petrified. They don't get hard. <coughs> I Austin brought over that seven-year-old little boy the other day and I gave him the fruit punch peeps <coughs> but Denise said remember when you go to other channels promote yes I do and you are a fan favorite oh thank you but mine have to be out of their pack for months and the ones I just opened, it says, good till June 2024. And I says, they'll still be. I've eaten outdated, petrified ones. Did anyone try the watermelon peeps? They didn't go hard like I like them either. They didn't get hard enough. And neither, right now I have. Melinda bought the new flavor for this year. Uh, Rice Krispie Treats. We shared one. Because they're not dry enough for me. <coughs> and right now I think I have too much humidity. But uh, they smell just like Rice Krispie Treats. Unless they're hard, they won't have a texture like Rice Krispie Treats. But I wanted to make Rice Krispie Treats the other day. $7.99 for a box of Rice Krispies. I thought, oh, nope, I don't need Rice Krispie Treats that bad. I'll find somebody that has a packet in their mini mart. <laughs> and of course... The two mini marts in our town or three mini marts i have one to go yet i didn't find it in the first two so i gotta go to the other mini mart but the watermelon was good but they just didn't get the rock card mine you can sit there and hit it on the table and it sounds just like you're knocking on a piece of wood and my grandkids know that they can only eat the soft ones because I preserve them things too long and then I only eat when they do get rock hard if I eat one a week I'm doing good But I don't know why. I, I haven't been a marshmallow fan since my younger days. Uh, we camped and we had roasted marshmallows every night. And we camped from Memorial Day to Labor Day. We went out before it and come home. Well, Labor Day, we had to come home that same night because we had to go to school the next day. And it's like my grandparents bought case of Kraft marshmallows. So we would never run out of marshmallows camping. 
and they would come out and we'd have roasted marshmallows, hot dogs. Grandma and Grandpa would come out a couple nights a week. And then, of course, every weekend. And I just got so sick of marshmallows. That I was deliberately burning them, let them dropping off the into the stick. Because we didn't have the metal sticks. We went out and got a new stick just about every week. We trimmed the trees. That's, that's what we called it. We trimmed the trees. We kept the campground nice and pretty. It was a very primitive campground. You had to hand pump your water. There was one hand pump well. We had no electricity. No running water. None. Okay, Denise is going to be driving. And drive safe. Thank you for another wonderful live. You're welcome, Denise. But I can't drive nowhere unless I want to pull a trailer around with me. And then I wouldn't be able to back it back up where it was supposed to be. So then I'd have to park in my alley. And then I'd get in trouble from the city for blocking the alley. That they're there for fire. Even though there's plenty of people that block their alleys. But that'd be about the top time my cop would t say something. And then I'd be in jail because my mouth would open and get me in trouble. But I got to find somebody Wednesday that can take this trailer out to the garbage landfill. And yes, thank you, Lisa. I've seen where you promote and Terry promotes when she can too. And Courtney has me up constantly. Any video that a person watches of Courtney, I'm right there. But I told her she was my late in life baby. My daughter. It's like because my youngest is oh, getting closer to 50. So, Courtney's just my new, my new life. <laughs> we always joke about that. This weekend, I was helping Carrie. It's like, told her when she gets mad, don't go to YouTube. I says, check and see if I'm here on Messenger. I will help you calm down. Okay. Oh, the dogs keep, she has the same issue that my grandkids are having. The dogs keep escaping. That's not good. Okay. I, D Denise from Lily Pop Love. She is so glad that I found her because I help her a lot. And I didn't think I did that much. But I guess a little bit, a little bit. Okay. And then she's even we, I was so amazed when I won the prize. I sent her my email address, not my address. <laughs> I was just I didn't you know, she said there were 60 comments. But it did she couldn't get it to weed out the keywords. 
And then the other one wasn't a subscriber, just made a comment. So that I got to teach her how to check that box, I guess. There's little things I have to, I, I try to help her. And... I did not think out of the, you know, I should, probably should have went and bought a lottery ticket, but I couldn't. That would have been a 1.7 mile walk down. And it's like, no. But she goes, there's one thing about it. I know Sandra Key is a subscriber. And a supporter. <laughs> when people give you guys the wrenches, they didn't realize how many people you could bring and promote, did they? It's like, I'll wake up for Marie's on Wednesdays. I seem to fall right back to sleep. I have it 10 minutes set up to go 10 minutes before hers live. I seem to fall asleep. Right back to sleep. Because that's normally my best sleep is from 7 to 8, 8.30 in the morning for me, my time. It seems to be my best sleeping time. I did it again today. I watched TV from 5 to 7 and fell back to sleep. We have, I have the most irregular sleeping pattern. My iron, ironing cord's hitting the... I go, what the heck's that noise? It's hitting the metal leg. I'm at the block assembly part already? Wow. Seems like this one went faster. Almost done with the customer's quilt. So I got to get that quilt to you. Because that means you have two more. Okay. Now I have to sit the pattern out. Sit this this way. Take four of these. One, two... Three, four. Sit them in the correct position. They go this way. It's like mine will be. That's I'm going to get it boxed up this week. I'm going to get it assembled and then try to get it boxed up. Because I can't drive to the post office right now. So if I was done, I couldn't do it. Well, I could sneak down there in my UTV. It's like, I could take the, if the riding lawnmower would start, I could do that too. But it needs a battery. So. And hitchhiking, I wouldn't get too many. My truck's hooked to the trailer full of garbage, and I can't back it back in the spot because I can't park it on the road because it blocks my mailbox. So I have 
riding lawnmower that doesn't start, and a UTV. And the UTV is blue, and it's, it's called a Rhino. It's like, I got to make myself a rhinoceros horn. They have a, in the middle of its hood, they put a thing to put the flag that we have to have, like, when we go to the dunes. Melinda doesn't live here anymore, Courtney. She lives over by Kathy now. And then Austin, he sleeps all day. He wakes up at 7 at night. Because he works graveyards. My son, he gets off work after 5 usually. So, there goes that. Alicia, she works from, she's gone from 4.30 in the morning till 5.30 or 6 at night. Emily, when she gets off work, the post office is closed. Yeah. So... I will get it to the post office. Believe me. I will get it there. I could also catch the mailman. And send it down with what I think is the postage. Or he could come back with the receipt of what it costs. And then I'd pay him. I don't know how the post office does when they pick up packages. Or are we supposed to always use those boxes of theirs that doesn't fit a quilt batting and backing? That's the other fun thing. And we definitely can't ask Michaela because she's in Alaska. <laughs> And, and then we're not asking Ronnie. It, she's got her own issues. Her second chemo is this Friday. It's kicking her behind. Yeah, the other day Austin was trying to do some stuff he wanted. He says, you know, when by the time you wait for the store to open at 8 or 9, you're, you're totally exhausted. And you, it's all you want to do is sleep. And it's like, yeah, I understand that one. I hope that you have it at your, in your possession next week. But I did get Nora's all ready to quilt. That was my first priority. Because I'm one of these, I work under pressure better. So if I wait to the last minute of my deadline, I get things done better, faster. Because I just keep telling myself, oh, I got this much time. How many of out here are last minute? Looks like. I'm curious how many of us wait to last minute. It can be the night before somebody's <coughs> party. It's like my grandson's, when I decided to do a graduation quilt for my grandson, I started May 1st to have it done by May, something, but it was in, in May. I put off It's like, 
Maureen, I agree. It's like, I am the best procrastinator. I put everything off until last, last minute. But for my trip to, oh, Don. <laughs> but for my trip to Florida, when I put my clothes up the other day, I started a, a, a pile of the shirts I'm going to. And Jean does everything ahead of time. I like putting off. It's like I had Alani's quilt. Worked on it, I think, a year. Oh, Maureen. Ew. I know what that's like. I'm trying to quit doing that myself. She puts things up and then forgets. It's not back in the same space, place. And then you can't find it. It's like, time for me to run. Wait, I don't run anywhere more. Time for me to walk away. Thank you for being here, Sandra. Behave. No, you behave, Lisa. You taking the grand grand dog out? But I was glad you came over. I wasn't going to stay this long, but I... I'm doing things I need to get done. But you have a great day, Lisa. You shouldn't check in a second time. I shouldn't be here. Because I will leave after this block is done. Two blocks in one day. And then I'll let Bailey out. Throw the toy for a couple times. See if my one lone daffodil has any new friends. I have one <laughs> daffodil that butted out. Melinda, she bought me purple tulips for Easter. And she said, Mom, they really was purple. The trip over, every petal fell off of the stem. I guess it was the last purple one available. So she had to have it. But she says, I know you'll plant the bulbs back in your flower bed. I says, yep, I will. So I might plant them outside today. The gentleman across the street's out spraying. With, oh, I got to go down and do that, too. Oh, not not until the pickup's available. I wouldn't want to carry back a gallon jug of something. Okay, there's that part of the block. Turn it. So when I pick it up, I'm more in the right direction. lined up. Yeah, this is the last of the blocks and then I can sew the last one together. 
I hope everybody's enjoyed today. I would show you more of the swoon quilt, but being that the copyrighted pattern, I probably have, I don't know if I've said more than I should, but I just do me. Because when I talk to myself, it kind of tells me what I got to do next. It's just one of those things. But as last night, somebody said, is that the one from Camille? And yeah, I couldn't think of her name. Oh, over on Lollipop. I could not think of the gal's name. It's the the two gals I used. Is that is that mother daughter or is it just friends? Two people, Bonnie and Camille. Was they a, a thing together? See, I don't normally make quilts from patterns. So I'm having to learn. It's, a, it's just me. It's, I'm having to learn. Because I am... So used to making scrappy quilts. I'm doing my swoon and Camille in her new ba new fabrics shoreline. Their mother daughter and mother retired. Okay. I did remember right from what I heard. Because it's like I said, I don't do anybody. No, that's just me. My squ quilts have always been scrappy, as needed. Find a block and make the quilt. See a picture, make the quilt. Got to raise up my iron for... It to turn back on and off. And then I did see that they're uh, in the, yeah, what's, what's the quilt called? Thistle Blossoms. I guess there's more than one. And then there's another one that takes uh, more than 16. There's a swoon collection, I guess, is what we could say. This is a 2015. March 2015 pattern. And like I said, I'm going to join mine in, in with grays. Because that's my background color. I think it'll help make it just pop. It's just me. Okay, that one's fine. I, I have a couple pieces that need trimmed a little bit. Because my scant quarter can sometimes get me in trouble. And sometimes it's a blessing. I have a, I think just the two pieces. 
And sometimes I don't measure four and a half exactly. I measure that tiny bit over the end. That's me. I'm always going to be me. So that one goes this way. This one goes this way. This way. This way. Because they, if it wasn't for this white tip here, you'd think there was somebody staring at you with ears. And then the red goes in the middle. So that means that points that way. All these other ones, all the red points to the red. Because this is where you get the star. And I can see that you guys can see a lot of the board. I need to be back a little further and up just a little bit higher with my laptop. But try to figure out, you're already on a box. So now I just grab and sew. Make my web piece. And that, uh, that one book I won, where's that envelope? There it is. Uh, Rose in Bloom. That looks like it. Looks like it could be an interesting quilt for the other part of the fat quarter bundle. They had a funeral for the cop. Yes, I watched that. I couldn't believe the all the police officers that lined that street. I've never seen that many cops. I agree. Yeah. Yes. They had one. One officer. I don't know. I don't remember the story. But he, I guess, was out of state when he got killed somehow and all along Interstate 90 was the the, the cops would line up at different, different intersections and so all of I-90 was lined with law enforcement in honor of this patrolman Because he come back here to be buried, I guess. But it's like, I couldn't figure out why our cops were all lined up on, the, uh, on and off ramps as they went by. It's, it's interesting. But we had, we have two intersections, and in, actually we have three. So we had city police in one, sheriff in another, and the state patrol were in the other intersections. It was very interesting to watch. I just happened to go downtown because I don't take our local paper. I never know anything that's going on in it. But they came from Arkansas, Oklahoma, hundreds on motorcycles. Yeah.
I, I did watch that part on the news. And I got up and did something and missed the weather. So I had to watch the news again later. Yeah, don't know how big this quilt's going to be. Uh... Go back and read. And da, 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 da. 74 by 74. Well, it's going to have a... I'm going to find a border of some sort. Because i got to make it longer. It has to be longer. But I can't make it 16 inches longer because then it would be too long. But these larger quilts either have to send to Courtney or drive to the next town and then hope my knee holds out so I could get it done in the same day. But she's so booked with retreats, I never know if it's going to be open. Okay. Pointing the reds against the red and pointing the right way. It's my last time I can check to make sure it's going the right direction. Because I don't want to go take it apart and break. And then Wednesday night, I got to remember to watch Married at First Sight. I always thought that was a crazy show. Because it's like, total strangers marrying. And the one couple that I loved, and they're still married, off of the season one. They're going to be on Wednesday night. And I, when they first went on there. She says, she was in tears. He's not my type. It's not what I would look for. And it's like, there was two couples on that show I thought was going to make it. One made it a couple years, and the other one's still together. But he proposes to her, I think, to have a renewal of the vows. Vows. And they, I think they just had their second child or third child. But I have to watch it because it was my favorite show. Uh, okay. They can't. Piece, uh, Courtney says, if you send to me, then I would have done in a day or two and then back to you. And Maureen, I can't believe the governor and the district attorney asked to speak at the funeral. The family denied them. If they enforced the laws, this guy wouldn't have would have been in jail and not free. I haven't started this one yet. I still have some more fabric to finish. Uh, uh, she says charging. Uh, did the starching, starching, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word starching. I think that's what Maureen's trying to say, starching. 
our good old autocorrect. Maybe I'll get it together to, when I'm done here, Courtney, and get it all in that box I was like, where'd I put that bag? I sat that bag where I wouldn't forget it. Yeah, right. Sure. My colors are just off of the... I just split the stack. I didn't do any picking. The other day I did the one called Neapolitan because it was brown pink and the white, the, the light. It was definitely a Neapolitan. But there's no method to my madness. It's fine in the background material. I just went through everything Moda had on this one gal's website. Couldn't find anything that had a neutral. That's the thing. Neutral. Because I don't want pink. It's like it could be a, a blue. It could be... And this gray works best for me for this grouping. But if you only knew what the patterns called for, would be a nice thing. Because it's like, it's hard to pick what background you really need. Heck, I couldn't even find a, a Swiss dot that was the right colors. Everybody only had the white with the pink left. Is that because nobody else wanted them? Because <laughs> there's so many colors. Because you got to think ahead. Your background, your sashing, your borders. And then if I was to order, I would have to order like a Lori Holt print like a, that went with this. And Courtney has two, two rows left to do on a quilt and then it goes to the frame. Okay. Courtney has to be careful on some of her stuff. She can't have it around on her live because some people might see their quilt when they shouldn't be. Okay, Maureen. It's like, just try. And I do have to say, the three yard quilt, I ended up having this because it's all pre washed. I ended up starching it after the fact because I wanted those wrinkles out. And I do like how starching does. But if I would have starched this fabric, it means I come up short. Because I was using a good quarter inch of the salvage edge. And I had to make sure I placed it in the correct spot on the making of these blocks on all 16 fat quarters. So I really have to watch. But that, that whole, that bee quilt is starched. So that means I have to start the backing, doesn't it? It's like, I forgot to trim a couple of the strings off because I didn't use the leader and ender.
But here's this one in, I guess this is a taupe color. I'm not sure. Gold, red, and taupe. Got little chickens, little baby chicks down here in this red. My mother-in-law called and talked to my husband and told him that she has four quilts to be long-armed. Ooh. <laughs> At least she's the mother-in-law. I'm the mother. <laughs> Give her a bad time on that one. Wow, I got 58 thumbs ups now. The thumb ups keep climbing. And I didn't even refresh yet. I'm glad I have you guys supporting me. I didn't think it would. I would get that many. I'm not going to shoot for anything big. And awesome. Thanks, Jean. I do a light just spritz over. When I sent her that quilt of Melinda's to Courtney, it's like we we was sewing together on Zoom or uh, Messenger as she was doing that. And then she moved the quilt. Then she finished it that night and sent it back. And as soon as I got it, I started the binding and got it hand sewed. But that's two today. I have two to go. But there's tomorrow. Because I said I'm coming on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I have to pick a block for Thursday. Maria. Hi, hi Maria. Hi, Marie. And Della. Thank you, Della. Marie finds it's just about when we're about ready to go off. I got 10 minutes I can talk. But I got to talk to the camera, not to the laptop where the words are. But it's like everything moved out of the camera way. Some things can be in the camera way, some things can't. But that's two blocks today. And I'll go grab the dastardly summer moon out of the closet. Oh, another string. I find little things that I have to keep trimming. Because I wasn't using leader and ender. So there's a few trims I have to do. And this will be, because this one here, did I start with the, I started with the old, the twin brother, the other one. So this one's got one more quilt done so far since I brought it over. It did one complete quilt top over there. It did the three yard quilt. That we did all together. So it's got quilt number. Well probably number six or seven. Done. Top that's been through it. I should put little marks on here somewhere. See how many marks I can get on there.
Oh, pencil doesn't write worth beans on it. Because my granddaughters did six. So I did a whole one. And it might have did another one on a sewing. 59 thumbs up. Oh, yep. Oh, thank you, Maureen. But we're down to 30 watching because it's been four hours since I started because I started early. And it shows I'm sitting. I'm only at 225 steps. You've been sleeping for 12 hours. <laughs> what time tomorrow? At 10 o'clock, Kathy's normal start time, 10 Pacific. And so every time in between here and there, uh, Denise, Mother's Day is coming up. Make a oven mitt, grocery tote, apron, or pot holder if you need a break from the blocks. Yeah. I could look I, I can look and see if there's any free patterns out there. Grocery totes are really easy. They're fat four fat quarters. Or what is that? Half a yard of material. I was trying to think. Two half so a yard of material. That's where those Fat quarters you don't know what to do with, that's where they come in handy. Because it doesn't matter. But it's like, I got I could do charm packs too. Because one charm pack isn't going to do me much good on some of these things. So maybe we'll do that. Uh... Yeah, rope bowls and then embroidering in them. And I don't have an embroidery machine. But I watch myself look around the room going, what could I use? I have a whole bunch of charm packs that I've inherited. There's just some there and a whole bunch over there too. Because I want a prize off of uh, Yvette Renee and she sent me one that got me in trouble I had to buy more material because I loved it and then I think three others I think she sent me four charm packs all together and then we play center that left right center game when we go to a Okay, Lori, go back to bed. And Northern Willow Girl, I'd love to do a rope bowl. I'd have to look and see if I have any of that rope left in my... I had bought a, a thing of the cotton rope. And I put it underneath the seat of the pickup and we used it for something. So I'll have to see if I still have that roll. I always try to keep a rope in my vehicle just in case. But I want Lori to get some rest. I want Laura to get better. And hi, Lorraine. It was, it was nice listening to you while I drove home. Yes, you buy a white cotton rope. Is what they use for the bowls. Rope bowls. It's like. Quarter inch. If you look at it. It looks like it's a quarter inch thick. I haven't did one of those. It's like. You can even use them. Just as. Um, trivets. Because I know making the rug. That was quite the challenge because I don't have a bigger deck. 
So it makes it to where I don't have the space to keep it flat long enough. So when I made that rope, uh, the rope, the, the rug, I should say, I had books stacked in front of my sewing machine on the side and on the back. I had made my deck. I stacked boxes, books, whatever I could find. It's like I was about ready to cut a hole in a table and make a thing to lower my sewing machine. <laughs> I was getting that desperate. But maybe we'll come up with something. Did she dye hers blue? Well, the ones I've seen, if you use a, a, a thread. Oh, Bailey thinks that she's got to come in and say goodbye to everybody. It's like, if you use a variegated thread, it puts enough color out there on it. And I have a bunch of variegated threads I need to use up also. I'm trying to use what I got. And Della says, hello, ba Bailey. I guess she heard me say something. It's like, Yes. She wanted to give me some more hair. I started itching the other day. Her hair just went through my shirt. Yeah. And Denise says, bye, Bailey. It's like, you tell them bye. It's like, oh, it's just about two o'clock. And you got to get down. You got to get down. You're not a baby. And you don't fit on my. <laughs> yeah. And on this shirt, she sticks to the black label. Because it's uh, one of those. But I'm glad you guys all enjoyed today. I'll be back tomorrow. Going to make another block just like I did. Or I'm sewing together my sections of Summer Moon. If I don't get them done today, I might get them done tomorrow. All I have to do is, because of my quilt as I go method, I just have to put the sashings in. So connect the three pieces. Hi, Deb. We're just getting ready to go. I'll be back on tomorrow at... 10 Pacific time. So you guys do that according to what you have, your time zones. And thank you, Terry. Okay, we'll see everybody tomorrow. And I'm glad you, oh, I got 61 thumbs up now. Okay, you hope to be here tomorrow? Okay. And thank you, Mary. Thank you, Deb, Della. And we'll see you guys all tomorrow. I might be a little before 10 because I get in here and I get anxious and I just decide, let's go live. I'm here. We'll see you. Oh, got to find the mouse. Can't disconnect without it. So we'll see you all tomorrow and thank you for coming. I'll go let Bailey outside and throw the toy for a little bit with her. And check my mail. I'm going to get her used to going outside the fence and not taking off. But when she sees another dog, she has to take off fast. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for coming. Bye. Wake up, mouse.